This call is now being recorded. Okay, so good day class. Last meeting, we have discussed the front office department and now we are going to discuss the housekeeping department. So our learning outcomes for today's discussion is for you to know about the housekeeping department, to identify the manpower of housekeeping department, its role and responsibility. Third, to classify guest room on the number of beds, um, the layout and the type of beds, and then to identify and classify the housekeeping tools, equipments, and its procedures. So let us define first what is housekeeping. So the word housekeeping refers to the upkeep and maintenance of cleanliness and order in a house or a lodging establishment, such as inn, um, hotel, apartal, condominium, resort, a dormitory or a hospital. So it is the housekeeper's responsibility for administering housekeeping maintenance and ensuring that everything is in order. So she sees to it that all occupants are comfortable, safe, and protected from disease causing bacteria. So housekeeping has two types. So first, uh, domestic housekeeping. So when we say domestic housekeeping, it refers to the housekeeping maintenance in a house. Okay, so it covers bedrooms, kitchen, dining, receiving, uh, sorry, dining, <laughs> receiving area, grounds, and the surrounding area within the house. So the lady of the house, usually the, the wife or the mother or the caretaker act as the head housekeeper in the household in proper area. Okay, so again, she sees to it that the rooms are clean and well maintained, makes the soil dishes are thoroughly cleaned and polished, and that linen are properly washed, pressed, and safely and safely stored. So she also manages the food preparation and dining services. The second type of housekeeping is the institutional housekeeping. So institutional housekeeping um, applies to housekeeping maintenance in commercial lodging establishment like hotels, um, resorts, inns, and apartments. Okay, so um, it covers guest room, uh, hallways, corridors, um, lobby, and public rooms and restaurants, offices, um, stairways, windows, stores, and um, concessionaire shops, grounds, and linens. So it does not include the kitchen and dining area since these are handled by the food and beverage section. Okay, so there are six scope for housekeeping maintenance. So first, guest room maintenance. So this includes the maintaining, maintenance and cleanliness and orderliness in the guest room. So it includes furnishing the room, um, it includes attending service requests of the house guests and then keeping the area free from safety hazards. Second is maintenance of public areas. So it include uh, maintaining the cleanliness and orderliness in the public areas okay so it involves also keeping the public areas free of safety hazards and undertaking minor repair like busted bulbs mga broken glasses or mga broken furnitures and others Third, providing linen and laundry services. So it involves collecting and delivering laundry items for house guests or those in-house um, occupants, like washing, uh, drying, ironing guest laundry, as well as linen used in the banquet functions or those linen used in the food service and, and those uh, guest room linen. And then fourth, washing, issuing, repair, and inventory of employees' uniforms. Okay, so this involves um, washing those employee uniforms and also um, keep tracking of the uniform issues to the employee through inventory. Fifth, installing, cleaning, and maintenance of fixtures and facilities like furniture and appliances. And lastly, provision of special services like babysitting, polishing shoes, and etc. Okay. Housekeeping organizations. Okay, so when there are many rooms or, and, 
and areas to be clean and maintained, so the housekeeping department shall set up a sections for room maintenance, another one for public areas, and a separate section for linen and laundry services. Okay, so these rooms usually falls under the rooms division and it is headed by the executive housekeeper. If the establishment is smaller lang, so nalang siya few nga mga guests, and then the public areas is small and sincere, so the housekeeping unit may just be a small section. Instead of a department, it is headed by a housekeeping supervisor, assisted by the housekeeper who takes over in case the supervisor is not around. Okay, so let us now proceed to housekeeping organizational chart. So this is an example of the organizational chart for the large establishment. So it is headed again by the housekeeping, executive housekeeping. Okay, so this is an example of the house of the um, organizational chart for the smaller establishments so it is headed by the housekeeping supervisor assisted by the house assist with with assisting housekeeping supervisor so in case housekeeping supervisor is not around then it would be the assistant housekeeping supervisor who will supervise the other employees okay now let us proceed to the rules and responsibilities of the people or the manpower of the housekeeping department. So first, executive housekeeper or the housekeeping manager. So he is responsible for maintaining a smooth and efficient flow of the operational in the housekeeping department. He sees to it that housekeeping maintenance is carried out in accordance with the prescribed so he would act as a planner and a troubleshooter. He would act as an organizer, uh, performs leading and directing functions, perform controlling functions, and provide guest relation assistance. Okay. Rooms, maintenance, and supervisor. So rooms, maintenance, and supervisor, its basic function is to direct and control rooms, keeping activities, including room makeup, um, installation of many bar, and the other room amenities to ensure conformity to prescribed rooms, keeping standards, and uh, policies. So also, a uh, rooms, maintenance, supervisors um, personally attend to VIP guests and their requirements. They coordinate with the front office regarding changes in room status and bookings, okay? Next one is the head house or public area supervisor. So basic function is to direct and control all activities concerning to public area maintenance and to ensure conformity to prescribe housekeeping standard and policy. So these are the rules and responsibility of the house head house or public area supervisor. He is also responsible for training, coach, and supervise housekeeping staff, uh, evaluate the performance of subordinates, and conduct appraisal interview. Room boy, chambermaid, or room attendant. So basic function is to attend the maintenance and upkeep of all guest room and service areas assigned to him or her. So he look after the maintenance of uncleanliness, orderliness, and sanitation in his assigned guest room. Okay, so he also would uh, conduct report and surrender all lost and found items to supervisor. So assess inventory of the guest room supplies and linens and conduct fumigation of assigned guest room as needed. Okay. For mini bar runner or attendant, um, its basic responsibility is to attend to mini bar installation, um, listing, replenishing, inventory, uh, that would take in tax, uh, requisitioning, and other related functions. So he also um, endorsed to the incoming attendant all and replenish many bars in guest room to make sure that all scheduled replenishments for the day will be accomplished as scheduled. He determined the availability and the non-availability of mini bar stacks and update the individual receipts distributed in guest room. 
Okay, so houseman. So basic function of houseman is to attend to the upkeep and maintenance of cleanliness and orderliness in public areas assigned to him. So he clean and sanitize all areas assigned to him following standard cleaning procedure. So he must um, vacuum or shampoo carpets, um, sweep or scrub or polish floors and walls, um, clean ceilings, exhaust and glass panels, um, disinfect toilet bowls, urinals, and others. So he would conduct report of the damages and out of order facilities in his area of responsibility. Take note of defective cleaning equipment, uh, busted bulbs, torn carpets, um, crack on walls defective sinks and toilet bowls, uh, clogged floor drains, and others. Okay, for powder girl, I'm sorry. So powder girl is responsible for the cleaning, care, and maintenance of the ladies' comfort room and locker rooms. So um, he regularly check the trash and empty garbage bins from the time to time. Okay, okay. Na among you can public areas. So public areas, especially if the guest is out from the room. So very kuan gina siya. It is used from time to time. So it is the responsibility of the parlor girl to maintain the cleanliness of the comfort room. Gardener and grounds maintenance crew. So, basic function responsible for maintaining the grounds, including plants and landscape. So, the beautification of the hotel. So, he is he or she is responsible for that. Pest control technician. So, responsible for attending the prevention and control of pests through preventive and corrective technology. So, they would perform kanang mga fumigation in accordance with the prescribed procedures and then check possible sources and causes of proliferation of pests and insects and make report and recommendation to remedy the situation. Okay, so the tasks mentioned in the various jobs are necessary for an efficient and quality housekeeping. Um, the housekeeping manager must see to it that such tasks are properly distributed and attended to by housekeeping personnel. If there are plenty of guests to be served or the area to be maintained is quite large, as in the case of big hotels, a rigid division of labor and specialization may be necessary. So this means that one position shall concentrate on a specific type of work. For example, a room boy or a chamber maid shall concentrate only in room makeup. A mini bar attendant shall be confined to mini bar operations and a pest control technician may handle only pest control functions. Okay. So these are the standards for ideal housekeeping. So first, cleanliness. So all areas, all areas, are immaculately clean so it should be dirt free and sanitized orderliness orderliness i'm sorry so the proper positioning of a particular thing is very important because orderliness it facilitates and fixtures are properly arranged and installed in a appropriate location room amenities are properly installed in appropriate locations and linen is neatly folded okay so in terms of sanitations um apply applied chemicals is encouraged but it should be accordance with the standard okay so um those wet garbage is properly underlined with plastic covered and disposed it regularly Okay, in terms of guest comfort, um, rooms are properly ventilated and lighted. Okay, guests are not disturbed by noise and other forms of distraction. So basically, um, guests stay in your hotel to have a comfort. They want to relax. So if dili na siya properly ventilated and then dili, and then ma disturb lang sila sa noise from the other room, then there is a problem with your um services in your hotel. And then I appeal. Okay, so I appeal. Ambience is suiting to the eyes, not dim or dull. So there is a suitable interior design and proper blending of colors. 
Okay, so there should be kanang mga wall decors, mga tevisits are posted at the eye level. Okay. For safety, um, safety, the rooms, um, the room or the function rooms and public areas are free from any hazard hazardous like mga electrical outlet, mga open electrical outlet, mga dangling wires, so dapat wala gid na siya. Okay? Kay of course, if naana siya ng mga circumstances, then this guest would 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 check out di na sila mo balik sa inyo hanga hotel. And then maintenance, control and preventive maintenance. So there is a designated budget for supplies and materials. Okay, consumption of supplies is always monitored. Excessive consumption is determined and reported. Okay, and then guest relations. So uh, guest requests and concerns are prompt, given prompt and proper attention. So staff will exhibit warm and pleasant disposition in dealing with the guest. Tact and courtesy is observed in dealing with customer complaints. And then customer feedback is solicited to determine guest satisfaction. And then customer feedback and concern are lagged down and discussed for corrective action during meetings. Okay, so those are the standards that you need to consider for a ideal housekeeping. Okay, so it should be clean, the cleanliness, the orderliness, the sanitation, the guest comfort, the eye appeal, uh, the safety of the guest, the materials control and preventive maintenance, and of course, the guest relation. Okay, let us now proceed to the classification of guest room. So, um, classification of guest room could be according to the number of beds, ang iyahang layout, and then um, kung pila ka guest ang maka-occupy ana nga certain nga kanang room. Okay? So first, of beds. Okay, so single room. So when we say uh, single room, uh, it is a room with a single bed that is good for one person only. Second, twin room. So it is a room with two twin or two single bed that is good for two person. Double room. So it is occupied by two person with one double bed. Double double. So room has two divided bed or duha ka queen bed that is occupied by two or more person. It could be also occupied by those kanang family. Then, triple room. Triple room, it is occupied by three per people, may have one double bed and a roll-away bed or two single bed plus a roll-away bed. And then, quadrupole. So, from the name itself, quadrupole is occupied by um, four people, may have two beds or more, or na siya gihapoy additional nga roll-away bed. And then family room, okay, so has at least double bed, okay, with one or more single bed designed to accommodate one small family. And lastly, king room or king size bed may be occupied by one or two people or one small family. So according to price, layout, and facilities, first is the economy. Okay, so this room is designed for an economical rate, usually short or standard facilities like aircon, television, and other amenities. So this is good for those budget-friendly uh, traveler lang. For standard room, um, uh, this room is sold at moderate rates, so equipped with standard facilities and amenities like aircon, toiletries, television, bed, bed night table, and etc. And then... For deluxe room, um, it is more luxurious and spacious with amenities of superior quality sold at much higher price than the standard room. And then is studio. So which can be converted into a bed. It may also be called an executive room. 
Another one is connecting rooms. So consists of two or more rooms with entrance doors from the outside door between them through which guests can get through each bedroom without going out of the room. Mostly any is family ang mo occupy any a room like kaning a first room uh, ang parents and then the second room is ang ilahang children. So best kaayo na siya since kanang spacious ang room and then um the children can transfer from one room to the other. Then suite room, okay? It has a parlor or living room connected to one or more full-size bedroom and equipped with luxury amenities and sold at a higher price than the standard room. Now let us proceed to the type of suite. So first is this junior suite room. So a room with a bed and a sitting area, okay? Also called a mini suite. Second one is the penthouse suite, so usually located on the top floor of the property. And then executive suite, so designed for a top executive with facilities and amenities of the superior quality. And lastly is the hospitality suite used for entertaining visitors serving as function room and a parlor. Now let's proceed to the types of bed. So first is a single bed, okay? A bed approximately 36 inches by 75 each inches, good for one person. Double bed, a bed that can accommodate a couple or two individuals. So this is the size. Next one is the queen, queen bed, an extra long, extra wide, about 60 by 80 inches in size. So it could be um, good also for the couples or two individuals. Okay, king bed, extra long, extra wide, about 78 inches and 80 inches. So this is good for a family, okay, a family with one children. And then lastly is roll away bed. This is a portable bed, okay, portable bed or an extra bed, okay. For if na ay certain nga extra nga person nga musti sa guest, then mo siya kuha on. Okay, mostly the hotels would charge this for 300 pesos, 100 pesos or... Uh, hotel so 1000 pataas na ilang charges tana. so these are an example of the type of beds so the second picture above okay mo na siya ang roll away bed okay so first picture is the single bed second picture is the roll away bed the third picture is the queen size um the last picture in the on the left side is the double bed and then the king size okay now let us proceed to the housekeeping tools, equipments, and procedures. So for cleaning equipments, we have vacuum cleaner and floor polishers. So the proper use of the vacuum cleaner, cleaner, it is used to eliminate loose soil and dust particles from carpet surfaces, okay, upholsters, furniture, and even hard surfaces. So there is a dust bag and it must be emptied daily. So after using, roll back the wires neatly of the back of the vacuum cleaner and then place it on the other trolley. So um, some of the vacuum cleaner is na ana siya different ng mga host nga maka-adjust so that ang katubit ang mga spaces nga gagmay na lang kaayo is makuha kaya po ang mga dust dito. Okay? So floor polisher. So this is uh, used for scrubbing, stripping, and polishing mga hard surfaces. Uh, especially if wood ang kanang type sa floors or sa kahotel. So this is best so that um, a polish ang wood and then in the shakitaan. Okay. So it gives the wash of the floor enough time to dry before polishing. Next cleaning equipment is the carpet sweeper. So this is used to pick up dirt and particles from the carpet. Okay. So hydro vacuum or wet and dry vacuum. Okay. So it Purpose vacuum for dry and wet wet surfaces. So it is used also for absorbing water in flooded or wet wet surface. Next one is the carpet extractor. So it is designed for drying foam or shampooing. So it, it removes dirt that sticks to or penetrates into the carpet layers. Simply twist hard grips and remove machinery gently from one corner to the other. Another one is the room boys cart or trolley. Trolley. So this is used for stocking cleaning supplies and chemicals so as to make cleaning easier and faster. So um I have as what I have discussed 
uh, last meeting or in the previous discussions we have. So each level of the hotel shay floor pantry in which um, this trolley is located and then ana po na dito ang mga uh, linens, mga supplies nga gamiton, na na dito. So that if kailangan ang Osaka room boy makuha og uh, mga supplies ni did niya, so adol na siya sa floor pantry. And then ibutang nila aning tool, trolley. Okay? Wala siya. Now let's proceed to su supplies. So first is the scoring pad. So the purpose of the scoring pad is for koala na siya for cleaning or for okay mm -mm. so the green represents for scrubbing purpose only and for the white represents for cleaning paint or surfaces or glass mirrors and marble and porcelain so the proper usage of this scoring pad um it should not be used for painted surfaces mirrors and glass panels neither should it be used for scoring powder Always make sure the pads are wet before using them. And then after using, you should wash and rinse after each use. So dusting clothes. This is used for dusting wooden and painted parts. So make sure uh, the clothes are clean. Otherwise, the dusty wood will merely rub the dust into the surface being dusted. So mas kalat na noon siya. Okay, so cleaning towel. Purpose is to use for drying bathroom walls and floor tiles after they are clean. So proper usage, make sure the cloth are dry. Polishing cloth. So this cloth is used for polishing metal surfaces like bathroom fixtures. And then proper usage would be uh, the used cloth is made of fiber to be able to absorb the water left behind during the cleaning process. So it should be dry also. So hand brushes. So hand brushes, uh, this brush is meant for brushing away dust from the rough surfaces such as rattan, wicker, wicker work, and others. So it is used for cleaning tiles. And then toilet bowl brush, it is used for cleaning the toilet. Next handle so to be used for manual floor mapping so proper uses would be this one is that uh, clean water must be retained in one bucket while dirty water has to be squeezed into another bucket dili kay diha ka nagkuha dito pudi mo ibutang so dapat na agay separate nga bucket ang clean nga water ug ang hugaw nga water and then in storing this one it should be hung dili kay imo lang siya ibutang sa bucket Okay, and then floor and window squeezers. So this is need to be removed existing water from the surface and corner. So it is also speeds up the drying process. Another one is cleaning uh, brooms. So this is used to remove cobwebs in the ceiling. So clean the brittles of the broom after use at the end of the each set shift and it should be stored properly. Okay, so oilers to be applied in hinges or doors so as to prevent squeaking sound from the door. Okay, okay. especially those um, uh, accommodations na near gina sa dagat. So dali agad kaayo ang pagtaay, Anna, especially if kusog kaayo ang hangin or amihan. So very important ni siya to, to, to kana bitaw ma-minimize ang taya sa mga doors or sa panang mga um kailangan botangan ani okay and then tongs to be used for picking up dirt and cigarette butts found on ashtray a trash bag basically kay baw naman mo ani common na kaayo ni siya ang trash bag and then soft broom and stick broom so it is used for sweeping so use a soft broom for the fine surfaces like floors and stick broom for rough surfaces like grounds and then sponges to be used for cleaning uh, fine surfaces. Buckets. So buckets are mops. Buckets and mops are used for cleaning floors, walls and other parts of the building. So buckets must be emptied when the water is dirty. Okay. And then insect sprayer. So used for fumigation so as to eliminate pests and mosquitoes. So these are the cleaning chemicals or supplies, so wood polish. So the purpose for the wood polish is to polish wood surface, um, leather and imitation leather surfaces. So the proper usage would be spray it sparingly and evenly on the surface. 
Another one is the insecticide. So its purpose is to be used in fumigation and to eliminate insects and pests. So the proper usage would be um, in as much as the chemical is toxic, avoid spraying into food containers and food items. So remove food within the affected areas during the fumigation. Okay, so methylated spirit. So it is a chemical used for polishing all glass surfaces such as mirrors and windows and others. So this chemical is highly flammable and must never be used near air or flame. So precautions. So it is very important to use, uh, to read the precautions before using the certain chemicals. Air freshener to be sprayed in the room in order to remove foul odor. Okay. So another one is the methylated um, spirit or if so ako na niya na discuss then carpet stain remover so used to remove stain or spot on the carpet okay disinfectant like Lysol so mo na to siya to avoid mga um kana mga balls or mga kuan sa sa CR metal polish to be used for polishing brush okay mga mga metal surfaces mo na siya gamit and then lacquer or paint thinner use this chemical to remove lacquer or paint from hard surfaces Okay, so in using this or the proper usage for this, you should apply the cleaning towels or scoring pad until the leftovers are removed. So the pot dry and polish the surfaces. Okay, muriatic acid, so very common is siya. But um, this is not advisable for toilet bowls since it is very strong and can damage tiles. Mga siya disadvantage siya, muriatic acid. And then when using this one, uh, um, Diligid proper ang naakay direct contact ani. Kay madaot gid ang imuhang panit. Magka-cause gini siya skin irritation. Okay? Then, wax stripper. So, formulated to break up or loosen up tough old waxes. The greaser used to remove grease, oil, dirt, carbon, ink, and etc. Okay? For emulsion wax, a, buff, a buffable wax. Used for resilient floors like vinyl, okay? And buffable wax that is highly recommended for wooden floors. Solvent wax, okay? So, mauna siya. Okay, this is also, mauna siya. So, cleaning standards. Okay. So, for cleaning standards, um, task is first, uh, first task is sweeping. So, standard or expected result. So, all floors must be swept must be swept and there should be no uh, dirt left on the corners behind the doors under the carpets or furniture okay for mapping uh, water is used sparingly so uh, after mapping uh, there should be no left uh, kana wala lagi mahabilin nga mga liquid okay dapat um, dry na gid na siya after mapping so for floor floor cleaning uh, sweep or vacuum carpet is shampooed as necessary. So cemented or vinyl floor is scrub or polish. A floor are free of obstructions. And then all floors after thorough stripping or uh, scrubbing are applied within a thin or smooth and even finish. So floor finishing. So floor finishes are not allowed to build up in a corners. Okay, so muna siya kailangan buhaton. And then for vacuuming, um, all carpet areas, upholsters are kept clean, free of dust, and spots are removed upon recovery. Okay, so for dusting, all surfaces are dust-free, so all corners are being vacuumed. And then window cleaning, so window glasses do not have smudges or watermarks, dapat clear yung kainin siya. And then window frames and chemical channels are free of dust. Okay, so those are the tools and equipments in the housekeeping department. So, uh, uh, you have to read again those things para makahibaw mo kung asa sila dapat gamiton because very important na siya makahibaw mo asa gamiton ng usa ka, ka chemicals, asa gamiton ng usa ka butang kay very, uh, very kuan magina siya kanang magina siya pinaka, pinaka kailangan sa usa ka housekeeper. Okay, kay once nga makagamit kag usa ka chemicals nga dili appropriate sa usa ka area or sa usa ka butang then na madamit yun na siya. Okay. Now let us proceed to room cleaning and maintenance procedures. So in conducting a room check, the routine for room check in every guest room for 
purposely is to check if the room is still occupied. So, magina siya basic or magina siya ilahang purpose. Why? Mag room check ang osaka housekeeper. And then, if the bed in the guest room were slept on, if basig pasin og ni gawas ang guest, wala ni ni natuloy sa iyahang room, um, if there are any just joiners who occupy the room, okay, kung na ba yung mga ni join dito sa ilahang rooms, because ana ang malay limitations sa Osaka room? Of course, if na ay joiners, then unnecessary charges would be added to their to the guest bill. And then if the guest is out and the room is ready for makeup, and then, if the guest has soiled clothes for laundry, and if the guest is in good condition, neither sick nor high in drugs or other reasons, maginasha. So, if the guest would request for a room, a makeup, then the housekeeper would conduct a room makeup procedures. Okay, so procedures for room check. So first, we're going to see if there is a tag. Okay, so if the, if the tag would be rooms with the ND side, so standards for do not disturb. If naana siya nga tagging sa ilahang room, basically mabutang man siya dapit sa, ano yung na siya, ibutang sa doorknob, ibitay sa doorknob. If do not disturb ang nakabutang, so you have to look the sign in the doorknob and do not knock if the sign is on. So dili ka inak, do not disturb ito, alangan mo knock ka, okay? So call the guest to the phone in the afternoon. So once he she respond, identify yourself and apologize for the disturbance. So tell him or her that you would just want to know if he she wants her room to be serviced. So if the guest is not yet ready for the service, ask when he wants the service to be done. And then, jot down the exact time of request. If it is beyond your duty hours, endorse the request to the next shift. Okay? So, rooms without the ND sign and no guest inside. So, knock twice gently on the door by using knuckles or by activating the doorbell. So, that, do not use your room keys or sharp objects when knocking. Then, you have to announce yourself housekeeping. If no one answers, knock again three times. Okay? So, limit is three times lang ang knocking. And then, re record the actual status of the room in the housekeeper report. And this is done every time the room attendant check the room. Okay. And then, submit one copy to the room status report to the front desk clerk for her to counter check with the room status record. Okay, mana siya. And then, procedures for room check. Room, and there is no DND sign. So, you have to... To, to knock, okay? If the guest is inside the room but doesn't answer, open the door slowly and apologize for the disturbance, okay? So, greet the guest, introduce yourself, and tell your purpose. Ask the guest if he or she is ready for makeup of the room. If not, offer it to come back later. If the guests appear to be irritated or disturbed, then apologize. So discreet, discreetly, try to find out if there are unregistered joiners who sleep with a re registered equipment. This has to be reported to the front office and a bill for extra person shall be charged for the guest during the checkout. So very important kaayo na siya. Okay. Um, it would add a revenue to the hotel, mang God. And then, if no one answers in the room, then the guest must have slipped out and he should be reported to the room status report. And lastly, during room check, uh, the supervisor also checks the status of each room and indicates it in his room status report. So those are the procedures in conducting a room check. So it is very important first nga kita ni mo sa doorknob if na ba sign nga nakabutang. Okay? Now let's proceed to room makeup procedures. So in conducting room makeup procedure, the first thing that you're going to do is to place cart in front of the room and knock. After knocking, empty all you will go inside the room, so you have to empty all trash cans or baskets, and then wash and wipe dry drinking glasses. So if na ay thermojack, then you're going to refill it. And then replenish ang soiled ng linens, and then make up the bed. After making up the bed, you're going to check the over... Okay, so after making up the bed, you're going to clean and vacuum the floor. After vacuuming, dust, furniture, and fixtures or polish mirror. Replenish other guest room supplies like kanang ilang mga morning kit, like toothbrush, mga toothpaste, and then after that, making up the room and then check the overall condition of the room. So, mana siya buhaton. If check out 
if the room is already been checked out, this is the procedures that you are going to do. So, imo it check if na by items yan ha bilin sa guest, i pull nimo ang curtains, okay? I adjust nimo ang air con air condition to the desired temperature and then remove ang mga soil linens. <coughs> and then after removing, uh, empty all trashes and waste basket, wash and wipe ang mga dry drinking glasses. So, i clean ang thermo jug. And then strip the bed of soliness and pillowcases and replace them to make up the bed naka. And then you will conduct a vacuum or shampoo the carpet and have upholstered furnitures. So that's all furnitures, so polished mirrors and other uh, metal fixtures. Okay, and then make up the bathroom. So fix the curtains, check the overall conditions of the room, including installed uh, fixtures and appliances, and then close the door. So before you're going to close the door, you have to double check everything if um, properly installed the banasha, na kapay mga kuwangan mo buhaton. Okay, so very important to, to, to double check everything before leaving the room. Okay, to assure that the that the that the room makeup or the cleaning procedures is being followed. Okay, for summary, so what is housekeeping? So manto siya, um, housekeeper responsibility na siya sa housekeeping. So unsa man to ang types housekeeping? Um, manto siya ang in ang um, <coughs> ang commercial nga housekeeping. <coughs> so unsa man to ang types of housekeeping mo to siya ang domestic housekeeping o institutional housekeeping domestic housekeeping refers to the maintenance of the house while the institutional housekeeping it applies to the housekeeping maintenance of the commercial lodging establishment and then um what are the organizational structure its roles and responsibilities so for large establishment it is headed by the executive housekeeper so under niya ang rooms keeping supervisor the public area supervisor and then the linen and laundry supervisor and then for small establishment this is headed by the housekeeping supervisor with an assistant housekeeping supervisor if wala ang presence of housekeeping supervisor so it would be the responsibility of the assistant housekeeping to manage the um the housekeeping department okay so classification of guest room so classification of guest room may vary on the type of bed the number of guests in the guest room and then it would vary sa layout um sa prices or sa amenities offered so sa room na siya and then housekeeping tools equipments and procedures so what are those things so categorize na siya based on the equipments based on the supplies and based on the chem chemical use in cleaning the housekeeping in, in cleaning the guest room and then the in cleaning the public area and then room cleaning and maintenance procedures so it involves um, conducting on how are you going to check the room. It involves uh, making up the room. It includes um, the making up sa bed. Okay? So, maolang na siya. So, read and read lang. Okay, I will provide mampo a PDF copy for this one. Kay medyo taas man ang ato ang discussions, especially sa tools and equipments, kay libog to siya. Okay, so for your assignment, so what are the tools and equipment used by the hotel nowadays during the pandemic? Okay, okay. Um, it is the hospitality industry good and affected during a pandemic. Okay, so due to the pandemic, so the hotels or the management of the hotel will improvise uh, their services um, so that even so that the guests can still travel, can still uh, stay in a hotel with extra precautions na. Okay, so unsa man ang mga tools and equipment used by the hotel nowadays during the pandemic and you have to define its purpose and how it is going to use or the proper usage for that one. Okay, so total points for the assignment would be 20 points. Okay, so that would be all for today. So thank you, everyone. So I hope you have learned something from our discussion. So if you have any question, then you can message me directly. Okay, so thank you. Goodbye and God bless.